January 15th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Well, we're going to start off with uh, Scott.net Earth Changes. Rescuers dig through shattered homes for survivors after flood and landslides rip through mountainous region in Brazil. This is near Rio, Rio de Janeiro. And they are, their are floods and ongoing. Fiji Islands flooding in western and eastern division. Continuous rains led to flooding in most parts of the western and eastern division. And the heavy downpour continues. Indonesia, wild weather destroys homes in two provinces. Then they have a piece on strange beam of light over Ottawa area due to ice crystals in the air. And they've got a really cool picture. <clears throat> then out of... Uh, the United Kingdom again. Yellow foam washed up on Burnmouth Shore. A uh, strange substance found in Burnmouth Shore is similar to that which washed up in Hailing Island beaches. The bright yellow foam, which tests reveal is 80% castor oil, castor oil, caused several beach closures in Hampshire and Sussex. So that story's linked below. And then they have a story, Queensland floodwaters threaten Great Barrier Reef. So all the runoff from the flooding going on in Australia right now is um, got the sediments and everything else just pouring out over the Great Coral Reef. And uh, they're having all kinds of problems there. And I think that's right up your alley, isn't it, uh, Weather or Not? And then here's a really crazy story out of Australia. Queensland flood, bull sharks spotted swimming down the main street of Goodna, 30 kilometers from the coast. Two bull sharks have reportedly been spotted swimming down the main street of flooded Queensland town, 30 kilometers inland. Uh, butcher Stephen Bateman spotted two bull sharks swimming near his Goodna shop yesterday, one of several reports of sharks in Goodna's main street. That is crazy. And then New Englanders dig out after the big snowstorm. Of course, we know about that. Well, let's go to the extinction protocol. Land masses rise in the Arabian Sea and the Bay of uh, Bengal. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill these names here. So bear with me. Sitwe, an amazing rock mass has emerged from the seawater near the offshore island of. Fronga, located 20 miles south of Sitwe, the capital of Arakan State, reported numerous witnesses. A fishing boat owner said, we have never seen a rock mass before in the area. Now there are rock mass appearing from the sea, and it is very strange and wonderful for all. And apparently the fishermen are afraid to go near this thing because they might get their boat stuck and... Uh, they're blaming it on uh, mud volcanoes that are all through the area. And then you can remember back in November, I reported on that land mass that raised up. Um, this is basically the same thing going on right now. And they have a video of that island I posted a long time ago. Um, a couple of fear stories. Uh, here's one. Math, mass fish deaths reported in the Caspian Sea. January 14th, Azerbaijan Baku mass fish death was recorded in the Iranian sector of the Caspian Sea. Uh, the Iranian Conservation Department deputy said a uh, mass death of fish in the Caspian Sea is recorded on the west coast of Gilistan province. A large number of dead mullet have washed ashore. Uh, an analysis of samples taken from the Dutch fish was carried out and now we are waiting on the results. So tests have been taken, they're waiting on the results. A meteorologist dismayed by heavy Connecticut snowfall. Yeah, they got some good snow in Connecticut. Uh, here's a story on Sri Lanka again. Sri Lanka facing unprecedented monsoon rain swells. They are still under the weather. And remember reporting yesterday over a million people have been evacuated so far. Just crazy. And 
Then we're going to go to a disaster now. The one story they have out above everybody else is Cairo hit by heavy rains and strong winds. A lot of Egyptians have been taken by surprise by the unusual change in the weather on Friday. So apparently they've having some severe weather and flooding and uh, they're talking about traffic problems and a lot of the vehicles don't have proper windshield wipers in Cairo, Egypt. Um, so they're having some unusual weather. And then uh, the RSA, RSOE is reporting uh, Honduran officials have evacuated at least 2,000 people along the Caribbean coast due to flooding following two days of rain. Now apparently they just saw normal flooding and stuff, but they put down on this story that, that a couple of dolphins were actually thrown up on the shore from the severe swells of this storm coming up on the Honduran coast. And uh, there are some severe weather with that as well. Um, that's about it for today as far as the weather and the climate goes. Um, we seem to have lost one of our YouTubers, Carney Art. Uh, brother, if you're watching this and you just turned off your channel, PM me and uh, let me know what's going on so I can let everybody know what's going on because the, the messages are galore. Where did he go? Where did he go? Um, I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy it while you can.